I was about three years old when my mother decided to enroll me in classical Indian dance lessons. She felt that she had missed out on the opportunity to learn the art form Bharatanatyam when she was young. So when she saw me as a young, chubby, wobbly toddler, she conveniently assumed I had lots of intrinsic dance potential, like most mothers do. Now as a kid, I was far from being a social butterfly in my school. But I realized that my early exposure to the art form had a profound impact on my personality and allowed me to interact with others in ways I hadn't imagined. I'm here today to share insight on how dance can help introverts form meaningful connections. Over the course of this talk, I want to focus on three specific points. Number one, how can dance help you be more expressive? A quality that is fundamental when trying to form meaningful relationships, yet something that most introverts oftentimes need a little help with. Number two, how can dance help you be more empathetic, thereby allow you to relate to people who may have had very different set of life experiences? And number three, how can dance help you be more confident, thereby allow you to draw people in naturally? So let's begin by talking a little bit about how dance can help you be more expressive. I want to draw on my personal experiences with dance to better illustrate this point. The form of dance that I learned, Bharatanatyam, is one of India's oldest art forms. Here, the dancer relies on the ability to emote in order to convey a story. Now, these stories can range from ancient Hindu mythology to abstract concepts like five elements of nature. Unlike theater, the dancer doesn't have the ability to speak or use dialogue, and instead has to rely on instrumental music and songs, oftentimes performed by a live orchestra on stage. Now, the same dancer, over the course of one single performance, can take on multiple roles ranging from being the protagonist or the antagonist or a supporting character or even the narrator. To better see how this art form works, I want to showcase a small piece. In this piece, I depict a peacock. It's monsoon season and the clouds indicate that a storm is on the way. Now the peacock steps out ready to showcase its feathers and dance right before it starts to rain. You will notice that in the music that I'm about to play, it doesn't contain any song lyrics. Instead, it just has instrumental music and rhythmic patterns. So let's see how I can use dance to portray something as unique as a peacock. <laughs> Jump, 
a chance to convince some of you with my impression of a peacock. Dance plays such a crucial role in helping you be more expressive. It's taught me how to display emotions like rage or shyness within a matter of seconds, something that not a lot of people are comfortable doing naturally. And being expressive is so important to forming relationships. While information informs the mind, expressiveness moves the heart. In the book, Made to Stick, written by Chip and Dan Heath, the authors discuss the importance of appealing to an emotion when trying to persuade an audience, inspire them, or even just engage with them. They argue that at times, it's more important to be expressive than it is to just say the right information. And dance can help you with this. So having talked a little bit about how dance can help you be more expressive, I wanna move on to the second point, which is how can dance help you be more empathetic? Before I talk further, I wanna showcase yet another small piece. And in this piece, I depict a heroine who's waiting in a forest for her beloved. She feels restless when she isn't able to see him, but rather hears him play the flute. She waits for him on a swing, waiting for his arrival. And when he finally comes, she's overjoyed. Let's see how that looks. Hi, Hi, Hi,
Now, as you might imagine, I have never had the experience of waiting for someone in a forest. <laughs> and I can assure you that even if I did wait for someone, I would have called, texted, and of course shouted at them multiple times, rather than chasing down music. But through this piece, I was able to imagine what the hero would have felt like. I was able to empathize with an emotion that is so foreign to my life experiences. Oftentimes, introverts find it difficult to start conversations with new people who've had a very different set of life experiences. But dance can help you relate to those very different set of emotions and different personalities, thereby enabling you to form a relationship more seamless. So having talked about how dance can help you be more expressive and empathetic, I want to move on to the final point, which is how can dance help you be more confident? Don Moore from UC Berkeley, in his recent research, suggests that we are drawn towards people who we perceive to be confident because of a presumed positive correlation between confidence and competence. So we're more likely to go and talk to someone, engage in a conversation, form a connection with someone we perceive to be confident because we tend to make assumptions about their skill level and life choices. Well, fortunately for introverts, confidence isn't an inherent trait, but rather something that can be learned over time. And how does dance help with that? Well, performing arts in general usually takes years of training and performing in front of a large, unfamiliar audience. While that experience tends to be daunting initially, over time, it becomes more familiar and even exhilarating. Dance, in particular, allows you to be more comfortable with standing out. Whether that's in the form of unique body movements, portraying different characters on stage, displaying different emotions, working with a live orchestra on stage, wearing different costumes, different makeup or jewelry, dance makes you feel more comfortable with standing out and thereby improves your overall confidence and self-esteem. In conclusion, I hope you've had a chance to learn a little bit about how dance can help you be more expressive, empathetic, and confident. These qualities are fundamental when trying to form meaningful relationships with others. Dance is truly a universal language that can bring people together from different cultures, communities, and countries. So if you think you're an introvert looking to form meaningful connections, I hope you consider joining dance lessons. Thank you.